This process allows me to be creative, but also stay efficient and effective at the same time. So I will show you how to go from a rough idea to a full brand identity. Here is my seven step branding process and it all starts with a discovery call. And on the call, I ask a few questions like, can you tell me more about your business? What needs to get done? Why are you doing this? And what's wrong with the current branding? And have you worked with other designers on this project? And I just take notes. So with that, I'm able to prepare a project proposal. However, keep in mind that I don't spend time on creating proposals unless I can hear definitive yes from the client. So by the end of the call, I give my potential client an idea of how much it can cost and how long it can take. And then I just wait for the reaction. The reaction is positive. If it's a definitive yes, then and only then I can start creating a proposal. So here's how my proposals look like. I have a few sections and by the way, there is another YouTube video where I dive in detail so you can create your own template. So basically I just use some of these notes to write those introductory pages. And then I talk about my process, my capabilities, but what clients want to see is those packages. So I have three packages right here and I break down deliverables right here. So I want to upsell my client on some extra things. And that's why I give him a discount for the plus or pro package. And then I have a few sections about the timeline, my work, testimonials. But what's important is one of these last pages contain links to my Stripe subscription. So that way it's easy for the client to just select the package they want, pay the deposit and start the project. So the next step would be research. So here is where I usually run brand strategy workshops. If it's a local client or I do it online via Zoom. And by the way, check out my worksheets and my free guide on my blog. But for this particular client, I actually didn't run a workshop. I just worked with their document and I use my branding GPT, which is a custom chat GPT to organize their ideas according to my framework. Let me show you how it works. So find link in the description and you can start with this simple prompt and it's going to ask you for more details. So here I can basically upload those documents from the client and the branding GPT will organize this information according to my framework. As you can see, it will distill all of the client's ideas, which will basically speed up the whole process and make it so much easier to work with this information. So you can just follow up, refine these ideas. Then with that, you can write a creative brief. So here is an example of the creative brief I wrote for airport executive. And again, I have a few sections and I have another YouTube video on that so you can create your own templates or you can buy my template. But basically, as you can see, I just took those ideas. I put these statements right here. So I basically create this document in just, you know, a few minutes. So we want to organize all of these ideas and put together a creative brief. And what's really important is that at the end, we want to have some mood boards. For example, I created modern luxury, timeless sophistication and tech savvy elegance. So make sure you write some kind of a creative brief. This way you can take smaller steps with your client and that way you can be on the same page and you can avoid potential issues later on. So get your client's approval on your creative brief before you go into the design phase. Next, I want to ideate and here is where I just conduct visual research. For example, here are some of the ideas found by my client and I look for some extra ideas. I like to use the logo modernism book because they have a lot of logos organized by categories. I also go to Behance. I type in some keywords like arrow, for example. We wanted to incorporate some kind of an arrow and I found some images for inspiration. I've done the same with Dribble. I found this plane in the negative space that looked pretty interesting. And I go to Google images. I type in a e monogram. Maybe I can find some images for inspiration. And so with that, I can start sketching my logo ideas. So here I want to sketch as many concepts as possible. Here are some of my initial sketches and here is the winning sketch 
sketch right there. So I just sketch a lot of ideas, I refine them. And once I have enough ideas, I can just start digitizing them on computer. Here is where I just jump inside Illustrator. I can bring these sketches and I just create vector graphics. Here are some of my digitized ideas. I want to develop three distinct concepts just like that. I present them on different color backgrounds. And once I'm ready with three really strong concepts, then I can work on the presentation. So here is an example of a presentation. Again, I have another video on that and you can create your own template. But basically, I just describe my idea, I explain my thought process behind it, why I selected these fonts and such. I present logos on different color backgrounds. I have some relevant mockups like this one, for example. This is a unique mockup that I created for this specific client. So I show how this logo and typography and colors can look like in real life, right? And I do the same with the second concept. And of course, I do the same with the third concept. I use the same mockups so that at the end, the client can see all those three ideas together and can make a decision. Keep in mind that you want to present your work yourself. You never want to just send a PDF so I always schedule a quick Zoom call. It may be just five or 10 minutes and I walk my clients through each slide real fast. I just explain my thought process. If they have any questions at the end, I answer those questions, but I don't push them to make a decision right away. I just schedule another call like in two or three days so that they have some time to think about those concepts and pick the best one. And the last step is just to deliver the project, right? So here is where you create the logo package. Here is an example and a style guide. And again, I have another video on that where I walk you step by step on how to create a simple style guide. Like for this client, for example, I created one page style sheet, but for other clients, I've created some more comprehensive style guides, 70 plus pages. And I also have templates for that. So you can check them out on my website. So if you follow this process, you can be creative, but at the same time, engage your client and and avoid potential big surprises and avoid unnecessary revisions. So if you like these tips, follow for more tips on logo design and branding. And I will see you in the next video.